curb extract is located in the Q menu for edit mode. So if we tab in edit mode and we select an edge, we can press Q and there's an option here for curb extract. And by clicking it, it will convert your selection to a curve. And that's where the problems begin. Here I am in an older version of Blender using the LTS along with an older version of HardOps using 987.9. If we press Control B and we bevel this, we can select this edge, hold Control, click this edge, and if we press Q and choose Curve Extract, we see that the result behaves as expected. However, if we perform a Boolean on the surface and we make that same selection, we see that it also performs as expected. However, if we throw a wrench in here and try doing a join operation like so and then tap into edit mode and we decide to turn this into a curve extraction we see that the result is definitely not what was expected and while this can be cool it definitely isn't what you should expect to get whenever you're using curve extract with the selection in edit mode so let's press x and delete this and we bring up the current version of blender where we're using hardops 987.11 and we try the same example. We bevel this, we know that'll be fine with the curve extract. We perform a difference, we know that will work right with the curve extract. And let's also do a join, and we'll just extrude it up. And let's just select here, hold control, select all the way to here, and we perform a curve extract, and we see that the result is exactly as intended. And that's basically the gist of this improvement with curve extract for this update. An additional note about curves in the context in which I use them with hard ops, just to show a quick demonstration in action, we'll just select this edge, bevel it, and we'll select this edge all the way across, all the way to here, and all the way back up. And we purposely didn't bevel the bottom for the purposes of this demonstration, but we can press Q and we get curve extract, and we see that we get a result that looks something like this. And we can press S, and that will at least shade it smooth and we could just click and complete this operation however this is definitely not the intended result in fact at the back let's say that we were to extrude down in the event we were going for a piece extruding down at the beginning of this curve we see that the curve becomes irregular and this is where some of the built-in add-ons of blender can come in handy for example if we press f4 and we go into our preferences by searching for curve you can enable something called curve tools and when you have curve tools enabled, it allows you to be able to select points on the vertices of a curve, right click, and have an option for something like fill it. And by filleting it, we see that it's got its volume back and we can actually go in the F F9 menu and adjust its preferences or adjust its properties for how much roundness is being given to it. Another thing about curve is that we're using it in the context of just pressing Q and adjusting the curve. However, we do have two curve capabilities as well. So I'll just shift right click to place my cursor and then we'll shift to A, place a curve, Bezier curve circle, and we'll tap into edit mode and just scale this circle down just because I know what's going to happen. And with our circle selected, we'll select this object, press Q, and choose curve bevel and now this object has actually been made into the curve bevel object and one of the benefits of this is that we're able to press G Y X and move this freely and it will actually adjust the offset of the curve in case you're ever wondering how you would get an offset on a curve now I have this actually overlap in the form somewhat and I can just select this and the mesh press alt text and use a modifier mirror on it because our mirror system also supports curves. But I just wanted to show a little bit about how I use curves in the context of hard ops to create quick railings and things like that.